like a floating head. I got my shoulders done. <laughs> anyway, it's Haley. Welcome to Mom Life Vermont and welcome to Monday. <laughs> welcome to Monday. Welcome to the weight loss journey slash PCOS life slash my life. Welcome to the channel. On today's video, I'm going to talk about PCOS and weight. I have chatted about this quite a bit on the Confessions of a Bearded Lady series, or at least initially in the Confessions of a Bearded Lady series. I know there's at least two videos, so definitely head on over to those. I will link them up in the corner. Today I actually like went and did research, well not today, over the last couple of weeks. I did a couple of Google searches to figure out like why is it hard for women with PCOS to lose weight. And also, why do women with PCOS gain weight? There's an ant on my wall, which is very weird since it's like the middle of winter, but I'm gonna kill it because it's driving me crazy. I get you. I get you. Yeah, basically those two things. The one thing I can say, this seems to almost be like a crossover video between Confessions of a Bearded Lady and the Weight Loss series, which I think probably should have happened way before now because I have PCOS. I don't know why it took so long for these two video series on the channel to cross over, but it has because I think it's such a, it's so connected. I have PCOS. I found out when I was 16 that I have PCOS, PCOS which is polycystic ovarian syndrome. It's a hormonal endocrine issue that happens in women. Kind of known from the get-go that I had certain physical features of a person with PCOS, which was having a little bit of extra weight, the fact that my weight was very focused on my abdomen, my the middle of me, and the fact that that had kind of happened, been there my entire life. I was just like aware of it, I guess. And once I had PCOS, there was like, a reason for it. I guess I just always been aware of the fact that one I was going to have weight because I have PCOS and two it would always be hard to lose weight if I wanted to. As I've been embarking on the this weight loss journey I'm pretty sure this is week 13 as I have been focusing on losing weight, exercising, eating healthier, I always had in the back of my mind that if I didn't lose any weight or if it was hard to lose weight, I have a reason for that and I didn't know necessarily why PCOS and weight gain was so connected. Like there had to be like probably like some scientific proof on why these things were happening and somebody probably had told me at some point. But I went online and I did some Google searches so I could spread some knowledge to you guys. Now a little disclaimer here because I think it's important. I am not a healthcare professional in any way, shape, and or form. If anything I say compels you to feel like I'm speaking to you, about you, then go check with your doctor. Talk to your primary healthcare provider. Talk to a mental health counselor. Talk to somebody that you're close with. Tell them what's happening and they can hopefully point you to the right place and you can get the resources that you need and if you don't feel like you're getting the answers with the first person you're talking to, talk to somebody else, uh, advocate for yourself, go do your own Google searches, do not diagnose yourselves with those Google searches, but use the knowledge that you are gathering from those searches to advocate for yourself as you head to those doctor's appointments because PCOS... I don't know if it's new, but it definitely seems like it's something that some women have a lot, need a lot of resources to even get the diagnosis or to get somebody to listen to them. So if that happens to be you, try, 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 try again. 
you didn't say like this girl on YouTube made me feel like she was speaking to me and I needed to speak to you. You can do that. I'm okay with that. <laughs> That's probably like a that was like we're like 17 minutes into this video, everyone. The question I asked Google is why is it hard to lose weight with PCOS? Now through that search I definitely found information on why it's hard to lose weight and then also why women gain weight and I think I learned more about my diagnosis by doing this research and the interesting thing by having my diagnosis and having it for so long and for me a lot of the knowledge that I have is from conversations that I've had 15 years ago, 10 years ago, to actually go online and look up the new information that is out there it is phenomenal. PCOS, it's really important to know that it is an endocrine issue, an endocrine disorder. The endocrine system, and it's all of the hormones in your body, I believe it includes the pancreas and the thyroid and ovaries and testicles if you have those. And there's some other ones, but I guess those are the big ones, or those are the ones that I remember. When one hormone in your body gets out of whack, all the other ones do too. PCOS is very much the idea of one hormone or a couple of hormones in your body not doing what they're supposed to, and the whole rest of your body going a little bit wonky. Part of that hormonal imbalance in you affects your appetite, so that one makes you almost not be able to satisfy your appetite. There's often cravings that come along with that, and just this want and need to just keep eating, and that is all due to hormones. It's definitely some willpower to stop yourself from doing that, but sometimes it's unknown to you during the process that you're eating more than you should due to the fact that you're unable to satisfy the hunger that you're feeling. I don't know if this happens to me often, but there are definitely times where I feel like I eat so much and it's like the next day that I feel it. And there are other times where I feel like I eat a normal amount and it seems like it's not enough in my mind, although I'm I'm definitely not hungry in those moments, but in my mind I'm like, wait, I don't think I ate enough because of the fact that sometimes I just eat too much. And that too much is not because I, sometimes it is just because I binge eat. Other times I think it has to do with the fact that I don't realize that I'm not able to, to satisfy the appetite that I have. The next little bullet I have here, it says appetite regulating hormones and there, there are three specific ones listed out. I'm not going to pronounce them at all. <laughs> appetite regulating hormones, three of them are often not correct, imbalanced in women with PCOS, which makes them hungry and in turn fat, plump, obese. <laughs> Obese just seems like a very unpleasant, like fat I wasn't upset with, pleasantly plump I'm definitely not upset with, but obese just seemed like a very unpleasant word. I need to start owning that word. Anyway, I don't, hopefully I won't be obese for very much longer. One of the facts that I found was more than half of the women with PCOS are overweight. That's ridiculous. And I did right here is I no, want, no longer want to be a part of that statistic on this weight loss journey. I'm not really going for skinny in the typical sense of skinny, but I'm going for about 200 pounds. 200 pounds, I just saw a girl who lost 100 pounds and she said that she started off at over 300 and I felt like she looked very similar to me and where she was at now, which is 206 pounds or something, she was rocking. She like made me want to be 200 pounds, which is really like where I'm trying to go, but I have about 50 pounds more to go. But I just don't want to be that statistic. It's just very interesting that PCOS, on groups that I'm a part of, it's often people saying that, hey, any skinny PCOSers here? And then they're like, oh yeah, me, 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 me. But it is half of us. Half of us are skinny. Half of them are skinny. Half of us women with PCOS are skinny and half of us are fat. And it's just interesting because so many people associate, I mean I often did, weight and PCOS.
One of the things that I found out kind of later in my diagnosis with PCOS is this idea of insulin resistance. And during my research, I feel like I got a pretty good understanding of what insulin resistance is. I think I'm going to do a lot more research on it to give you guys a whole video on insulin resistance, but it basically says I'm going to read it. PCOS affects your body's secretion and use of insulin. So basically it means your body, how your body like puts insulin into your body and then how your body uses it once it's in there. And that in turn causes your body to become insulin resistant. Basically your body is producing too much insulin that your body doesn't know what to do with it. So it just says I'm not even going to deal with it, deal with it anymore. So that resistance in turn creates more insulin so your body's not creating it correctly to begin with so it creates more thinking that's what it needs and because of that too much insulin in the body it causes fat storage and weight gain and those two things cause the like PCOS body which is fat in your mid-range they called it a spare tire I was so mortified. I was like, if I was 16 and I was like reading this article and I was already self-conscious about my fat body and this says, oh, you are a spare tire because of your PCOS, I would have been so upset. Maybe not 16-year-old me, but I feel like that, that could cause so many people, I mean, even if you're not 16, I don't want to be called a spare tire. It pisses me off. And then the fact that there's this whole insulin thing happening because of all the other hormones in your body that aren't working correctly, insulin stimulates your appetite. Insulin resistance can cause stimulation in your food cravings. And I don't even know what this video is, but basically I just wanted to say there's a lot of hormones in your body. When you have PCOS, they all go a little wonky and it causes you to get fat and want to eat all the time. And due to all of that, it can make a weight loss journey very, very, very difficult. Very difficult. The one thing I can say is I don't feel that my PCOS at this point has hindered my ability to lose weight. I think I've lost between 13 and 15 pounds, depending on the scale I've been on. It'll be interesting to see what happens tomorrow. At some point, am I going to like plateau off? And would I be losing more if I didn't have some of the food cravings and I gave into the food cravings I've been having? These are the things and these are the reasons why having my wellness coaches is absolutely amazing because as I start thinking about these things, and I talk to them about them, I'm able to, they're able to like kind of like provide me resources and like bring me into the fold and let me know that I'm not the only one that has some of these feelings on my weight loss journey and here are some of the things that I can do and remember and put into my life to make sure that I'm as successful as possible. But yeah, if you guys are on a weight loss journey, let me know how it's going. If you have PCOS and are, and are feeling it today based on all this rambling I did, let me know down in the comments. Let me just know down in the comments you guys are here and you're supporting me because it is taking a village and you guys are all 100% a part of this village. So, maybe I'm just crying because I'm so happy that you're here. These are actually probably tears of joy because... I'm very happy and very I'm very proud of this journey I'm on and I'm also just like really happy that I can share it with all of you guys and that you guys are here watching so thanks thanks I got all mushy here at the end but uh yeah I will see you guys all next time bye, -bye. PCOS is a hormonal imbalance PCOS is an PCOS is a hormonal PCOS is a hormonal imbalance that's what it is